Hello and welcome everyone to your fifth Adobe After Effects tutorial setting the preferences. Now preferences is one of the very important thing that we need to set up before we start working actually into the software because by the preferences we can set how we want our software to work as. So let's jump right into it. To set the preferences, we can just go to Edit, Preferences, General. Now as soon we click on that, we get lots of things over here. Don't worry, we will go through them one by one and they are easy. So the first thing you should do is the levels of undo. This determines how many steps you can get back in time when you make a blunder. So I would recommend setting that to 99. Unclick these two and keep all the other click. Now going on to the second thing over here is the previews. This sets that whenever we are previewing our work, how do we want it to be? So if you have a good graphics card, you can enable OpenGL. That means that it will use the potential of your graphics card along with the RAM to quickly preview the effects that you have done. When you click on OpenGL Info, it will tell you about your graphics card. Just hit OK and make sure this one is the one that you are using. Hit OK. Here is the adaptive resolution limit. Now this automatically adapts the resolution of the preview that we are going in order to cope up with the speed we are scrubbing through. You will understand it more when we work into it. And then going on to the next things. Display. Now in display, motion path is basically when you give a certain path for your objects to move into. For example, if I give a circular path for my object, then my object will move in that path as I want. That is the use of the motion paths. Now most of the things over here, we will learn about them in the later tutorials. So I will quickly go through only the important things that we need to know right now. For example, the first autosave. Now this should be kept at save every one or two minutes and maximum project versions can vary from two to five and check the automatically save projects. Now this saves a lot of work in case your software gets crashed and you forget to save then you will have a saved version of two minutes before the crash happened. So make sure it is set to one between one to five minutes and between two to five versions. Now coming on to the last thing, the memory and multiprocessing. This determines how fast or how much RAM the After Effects is taking. For example, I have my RAM reserved for other applications as 3 GB and RAM available for After Effects here is 12.9 GB. 13 GB RAM of my computer is being used by the After Effects and the 3 GB RAM is being used by the programs other than the After Effects. Now, if you check this, and if you have cores, so install CPU cores here is 8. You can keep one or two cores for the other programs. RAM allocation per background CPU. You can set as you like. And then this will help in rendering at very fast speeds. But for now, I'll just untick that and hit OK. So these settings should be done before we start working into the software. We will learn more in the next tutorials. Thank you for watching.